In this video, I'll show you how length measurement works out in metric. It's fairly straightforward. I quite like it. It's really consistent. And uh, I'll explain right away what this money is doing here for. Basically, if you can handle money, you can handle metric. Whether it's money or measuring length, either way, we have a unit of measurement. So let me just write units of measurement units of measurement here okay and I'm gonna do side by side here say so we have a base unit either way base unit and with the monetary system we've got the dollar when it comes to measuring length in the metric system it is the meter. Now, this meter stick here doesn't quite fit the screen, but uh, it does this way. All right. So I have a meter stick, and I'm just gonna put it. I'm just gonna put it uh, here, so it's still kinda in view. Okay. Now, as uh, as with money, we have uh, change uh, with the units of measurement in measuring length as well. The uh, first unit of uh, measurement for uh, making change is a dime and I'm just gonna put D here. It's a uh, 10 cents and with uh, measuring length it's called a, it's also got a letter D in it. It's called decimeter and just as with money you need 10 dimes to make a dollar. Likewise, you need 10 decimeters to make a meter. I'll show you. I've got here a decimeter paper here. And on this meter stick here, let me try. How do I do this? I know your numbers now are upside down both ways, but there's one, two, three, four, five, oops, six, seven, eight, nine, there, ten of these makes one of those, just like with money. We've got smaller units, smaller than decimeters, and it's uh, totally similar to a penny. A penny is a one cent coin and surprise surprise in a metric length we've got centimeters. Now we know that ten pennies will make a dime that's why I wrote ten times there and so likewise ten centimeters will make a decimeter. Here is a uh, handy dandy ruler. I know the number is going to be upside down, but don't worry about it. There is zero on it. One, two, three, ten. And I made this one decimeter sticky. I obviously cut it to length to make it work. There, it goes from zero to ten. So one decimeter is ten centimeters. There, just like that. And that also means that uh, one dollar can be divided into ten dimes, and ten dimes, uh, sorry, each dime can be divided into ten pennies. So here on this side we're multiplying, and on this side we're dividing, and the same applies. One meter divides exactly into 10 decimeters and each decimeter divides exactly into 10 centimeter each. We have one more unit in metric millimeter and uh, it doesn't work with the money but the system is the same 10 millimeters make up a centimeter and and one centimeter divides into ten millimeters. 
once I get rid of my decimeter here, I got these two kinds of rulers. How do I do this? Here, this one has centimeters. Take a look. Zero there, and it says centimeters there. It says millimeters there because they mean those very little lines there. So the big numbered units are the centimeters. That's 10. And on this one, on this ruler, it says millimeters only. And it says 10, 20, 50, 80, 100. So when I put these two side by side, you can see that the 1 centimeter is 10 millimeters, the 5 centimeters is 50 millimeters, the 10 centimeter lines up with the 100 millimeters. Uh, you get the idea. So 10 millimeters make 1 centimeter. We've got units greater than a dollar, not just smaller than a dollar. We have here a ten dollar bill and uh, I'm just gonna write a picture of it here. So that's dollar ten. Okay. And uh, in the metric we have that's called a deco meter. It's not used very often, so uh, maybe I'm not going to cross it out, but just lightly like so, because it's not used much. And uh, just as $10 make a ton dollar bill, likewise 10 meters will make a tachometer. $10 of uh, this kind will make a hundred dollar bill. And, uh, a hundred dollar bill. I'm just gonna draw again here a hundred dollar bill and uh, we have another metric multiple it's called a it's called a hectometer it's not used very often so I'm just gonna cross it out for now it exists it is there one meter uh, sorry ten meters make one decameter just as ten loonies make a uh, ten dollar bill and just as ten ten dollar bills make a hundred dollar bill likewise ten decometers make a hectometer but again these are not used very often and here on the top we have something that you probably are extremely familiar with kilometer and uh, ten $100 bills will make, there is your new $1,000 bill. I just made it up on a photocopier. And I'm just going to draw a $1,000 bill there. So you can see everything is multiples of tens or, uh, or everything divides by ten to get smaller, am to get smaller amounts. So likewise here in the metric system it's the same and it's really easy and convenient to use everything is multiples of 10 there so let's do a couple of conversions here finally say uh, say how many decimeters are in a meter I'm gonna write it in blue say 10 decimeters make up one meter because ten dimes make up a dollar okay how many cents make up a dollar or how many centimeters make up a meter exactly as many as many cents make up a dollar so uh, 100 centimeters will make one meter because there is 100 cents that get exchanged for one dollar. Now, say uh, ten dollars. Here is ten dollars. How many dimes are in ten dollars? Or how many decimeters are in a decameter? You can see that it's uh, ten dimes make a loony and
and each dollar then uh, not each dollar sorry you need ten dollars to make a ten dollar bill so you're gonna need ten of these to make one of these and you need ten of these so ten times ten is what you need you can go here ten times ten is how many dimes make a ten dollar bill likewise ten times ten one hundred decimeters will make up one deca meter and it's very similar to 100 dimes converting into a $10 bill and uh, let's go a couple the other way around say look at this one how many centimeters are there in a kilometer the centimeters are here the kilometers are here it's similar then uh, it's, it's the same question as asking how many cents will make up a thousand dollar bill uh, you look at how many steps away it is from it and you multiply everything together 10 times 10 times 10 times 10 times 10 so one kilometer or a one thousand dollar bill will be made up of that's the first 10 multiplied by 100 is an extra zero multiplied by one more hundred is an extra zero and one more and one more there that's how many centimeters make up a kilometer let me see it's uh, one two three four five levels away and you have one two three four five zeros in it and this reads as 100,000 centimeters make a kilometer and likewise 100,000 cents make a thousand dollar bill if I wanted to know how many millimeters make a kilometer that needs uh, one more zero here so that's gonna make one million millimeters for a kilometer last one say 27 centimeters is how many decimeters 20 sorry yeah 27 centimeters is 27 centimeter will be there is 10 there is uh, 20 and there is 7 so it's two whole two whole decimeters because a decimeter is 10 centimeters long there's the first one there's the second one there and then a portion of this because there's the 27 centimeters 2.7 uh, is the answer because from uh, from centimeters to decimeter if you have 27 pennies 27 cents you can make out of it two dimes and you have seven left over two dimes and then you have a seven left over that's how many dimes you can make out of it you see uh, metric length measurements work exactly the same as money does so keep practicing